We're out to find broken, useless websites and give them a purpose to grow your business. In this first episode of Viking Outdoor Web Design, we're going to be putting together a, little, a color palette, uh, loading a Divi pre-made layout, and then putting our content into the layout. We may have to create some new sections because we have more sections uh, of content than we do actually in the pre-made layout. So we're going to go through this process and get our first draft of this web design. Um, so here's their current website and it's one pager. A lot of things are are up to date like all his photos are out to date so he wants to get a new website he wants to make it more robust. So we want to take uh, this website we've already interviewed the customer we've got um, we've got our content we've got new written content we got new fo new photos um, some of them may not be big enough so we may have to just kind of um, put them in as placeholders um, so there's some couple little challenge but we're going to do what we can uh, to get started with this today and uh, so here we go um, this is so this is the blank canvas and we've already looked up his logo and using the the color picker and uh, we've converted over to hexadecimal and we got his we got his color from his uh, logo and we put it in into the color.adobe.com to get us some other colors to work with so all we got from his logo was just a gray and this adobe color here uh, so those are the only two colors we were able to get this gives us a few more colors to work with looks like we got some chocolates and almost like a little brown color uh, this is his font, Bohemian Press, that's in his logo. However, that's it's, it's a very powerful, and you can see here this word create is just like it's it's really, really dominant. So I don't know that we're going to be using that in the body of the text. I do like this font here. This looks nice, uh, but I found a different font, which I think we're going to use for today, which is just a very simple, uh, this Karios Gothic, this little Gothic font here. It's in the Divi theme, so it's, it's free, it's available. So that's the font that we're going to use. Um, I've already taken all the colors and put it into the color palette and then also I have found a theme that we want to use so um, actually I'm gonna go I'm gonna exit out of this and I'm gonna start a, a new page so that we can get the choice of um, of choosing a pre-made layout so I've already picked out a pre-made layout that I want to that I want to use um, so we'll do a new page Okay, so we're going to name our new page, just new home page, and we're going to use the Divi Builder. From the three choices on the screen, we're going to use the Browse Layouts and the layout we want to use is the Pottery Studio. Okay, here it is, and we want to use the home page. So we want to use this layout here. I like this one because it has these three little this section of th across the top. So we're going to use this, use this layout. All right, now that we've got our layout loaded, uh, just real quick. So we're gonna we're gonna start putting in some of the some of the copy. Uh, so we really can we can focus on the messaging. We're just gonna start right here with this header. Um, our theme, so on my other screen, I've got our content ready to go. And one of the things that our customer likes to say, uh, this was one of his comments, so we're going to start with this. Um, you know, because you can't see anything at night. So, Viking Outdoors, uh, they, uh, they do outdoor living space, including decks and lighting. So, because you can't see anything at night, this is one of his favorite taglines. So we're gonna pop that in there and then we're gonna follow that up with kind of his his speciality. So in this little sentence underneath, we're gonna put uh, get an outdoor living space worth experiencing. We'll put an explanation on that. And then as we go, I gotta try to remember to try to change these fonts uh, back to default and so that we can change them globally instead of having to check each box so I'm going to change this back to default as well and then we can change that to the font we want later so I'm going to save that <clears throat> so his call to action is going to be a outdoor living consultation
and here and here um, a lot of what we're going to be doing is is undesigning um, so we're going to get the layout back to the default uh, fonts and colors as much as possible uh, so that we can change them in our theme customizer okay so we've got this here we've got the fonts changed back we got our message in there I see this background image so let's see if we can change that image while we're here let's see what we have available Oops. Um, I really like this one of the cabin I thought it had a really nice feel um, but this other one has a very very grand view of what he does so we'll just have to see which one works best um, the home uh, this one here looks really nice as well so let's try this one it's a full house view uh, this is just lighting but um, I think it's a very good looking photo all right so there we're gonna start with that that's a good looking header to begin with now this little section here uh, we've got some uh, just some real short blurbs that we're gonna put in here so you know a lot of what he he does is about uh, you know outdoor living space is about hanging out with friends and having fun right so uh, we're gonna put in you know so maybe we'll put a question mark on there no friends and then we're gonna delete these other components I'll leave that in there that kind of looks nice so let's change the color of that while we're here so we're gonna go to our uh, we should have it saved Let's see if our colors got saved. So we're going to go down to design, line. Oh, yes. And you can see our colors here. So we'll pick this really light color here. And let's make sure that this is the font on this one is set to h2 and default so again this is an h2 set it to default then we can delete this and we're going to delete this button as well and we'll update the color for the line, design, line, and choose our light color. Might could even change the background of those. We'll see about doing that in a second here. So here's our third statement, for the third column. Set it default. Delete that block. I'm going to update the color of the divider. So we'll go to design, line, choose the color. All right, that looks very clean. Now these are not our colors that we worked with. They look pretty close. So let's see if we can change those. So this is always a little tricky. So we've got a background color for the whole row, uh, but then we can have background colors for the individual columns. And you can see this one here. So we're gonna choose this first one. The middle one's, this one's a gray color, I believe. Or no, actually it's a little bit of a chocolate color. So we'll do that one. And then we'll go to column two. We'll change this one to the next one. It's more of a red color. And then we go to column three, and then we go to background. And see, we've got kind of a brown color there. So we've got kind of a, a gray, red, and a brown. They're all darker colors. And then we're going to change this one to white to match the others. So we're going to go to the settings, design. This is a heading. It's a heading two. We're just gonna change that to white. And now uh, we can put questions by all these. All right. Okay. 
So that gets our colors, and we changed all the fonts to default. Now this next section section is about you know from the layout is about classes, and you know we're doing not doing anything related to that. So, but our but our next section is really about um, trying to invite the customer in. So let's see what our next section down. I really like this section here. And I think it kind of, but this is a quote here, expert instructions, but we have quotes down here as well. So I like this section here. It's almost like from the author. So let's edit this section next. So we'll go to the settings and we'll change our heading here. Uh, so it says hiding inside like a hermit crab. So he, this is, he's a real funny guy. So he kind of likes this this humor um, in his business so we're gonna set that back to default again and then see we're gonna change that little divider we go to settings design line uh, we may choose the darker one in this case Um, and this is not going to be a quote, so it's just a statement. We got a little, couple little sentences here. So I'm going to put those in there. I'm going to delete the author part. And we're also going to delete this little quote thing there. But we do want to go ahead and make a call to action here. So we're going to add a button. Uh, we're going to leave it with the default color settings because we can change it in the customizer. And again, the call to action is the exact same as it was earlier. Outdoor living consultation. That looks great. And then we're going to change this background image to something that's related. So it says living inside. I don't know if we actually have some any inside pictures. So I'm looking, we're looking for something again, something a little grand. Let's try this this back deck picture. I kind of like this one here. All right. So let's move this section up because it's supposed to go right after the header, I mean the um, reminders. So now we got a nice flow going. We got our header, uh, we got our, our questions, and our content here. Okay, so the next part is really kind of his you know, authority statement, which you know about him, about his business, that they're experts. Okay, which he has here. This section says, you know, expert instructors. Um, so this is kind of the section that we want to use. So let's go ahead and pull that section up so we can use it next. And the colors match out great. Look at that. Okay, so his, again, his witty saying here is, it, it sure is dark out there. So we're going to put that right here. And dark out there. So, so this is a heading two. We're going to go to design, heading, heading two, and change this back to default. Okay. And then we're going to change the color of our little divider. Settings, design, line. Choose our color. Okay, and this, here's his expertise state statement.
So we're not going to put people in here for his team. So these are, but it might be cool to put some some photos of some of his projects in here. So I'm going to click and add a new module. image and see if we can find some little landscape photos there's one of a fire pit which is really nice shows a little bit of stonework so we click on the gray plus type in image click on the little gear for the image and let's see if we can find something different now. There's a, he's a different project. He lit up a pool, which is super cool. And we're gonna delete this module above it. We'll go into the third column. So we've got some, we got a pool and a fire pit. I think a decorator. These are all the night pictures. So let's see if we can find a day feature picture. There's a railing here. There we go. Uh, become an instructor. It looks like we got a call, another call to action here. So we're going to change this to our Consistent column to action, outdoor living consultants, consultation. Then we're gonna go to design and we'll go to the button and we'll turn off the color styles. All right, very simple and straightforward. It's looking good. Now the next section is really where we wanna to communicate to the customer how to get started. Um, so this section, this light colored section is going to work pretty good. Uh, so we'll make our, we're going to use that same statement as in the header. Again, get an outdoor living space worth experiencing. Um, and then we're going to give them the three simple steps to do that. Okay, so we're going to go in and change this heading font back to the default so design uh, heading text h2 default and then we're going to change this little divider settings design line choose the color okay. so down here we want to we want to use some numbers we want to use kind of a you know, one two three in terms of steps uh, but let's also change this color here background color if we go with the light color I'm not sure I'm joining that light color uh, he says he wants a black website I do like the way this uh, yellow text box stands out though So we could create a shade of that uh, lighter color. So there's a 25% on that one. So let's see if we can change this one to match. It looks like it's in the background of the column, just in the left column. So we'll go to column one, background, and then we're gonna choose that lighter color and go to settings and pull the transparency down to 25. Okay, so on this one, it's actually, transparency makes the box go away, so it's gonna need to be a solid color. I was thinking we would make this lighter color the button. So 
that's going to be interesting. If we're going to have to have a color that stands out. It might just have to be white. Um, seeing as how he wants the website to be mostly black. So if we keep this Adobe color here, then a white button will work. Um, we just got to change the text to light. So we we'll go to the gear and then go to the filter and you can type in uh, light, L-I-G-H-T. And there's a text color. You can change it from light to d from dark to light. So it just reverses out the font color. So we can do the same for the other. Just use the filter to search for light. And then use the drop down to change it to light. Okay. So I like that color better there. So let's do the, this whole sec section in that same background color. So we're not, so the whole thing is not black, but it's mostly black in his colors. Okay, so on these three columns, we want to make call outs here. We're going to use a We're going to use a blurb. No, I'm sorry. What we want to do is use a counter. So we're going to use a circle counter. Let me delete this other one. Okay. And then we want to change the circle counter. First, we want to get rid of this background color. which may be in the the row. So we'll go back to the row settings. Check the background color. There's no color there, so that's good. We'll check the first column. Yeah, that's where it is. There. Okay, and then we can go back to the second column. Background, and we can delete that one. Then to the third column, settings, delete the background there. Now we can delete these. We'll save those and delete the other modules. And then we're going to edit this one. So we want this to be a number. This is going to be number one, right? And so the first step in his sales process is to schedule a visit. This is going to need some more styling. So we don't want the percentage. So we'll turn that off. Um, and we want our fonts. So we'll just make sure that our fonts are set to default again. That's in H3, which is, which is fine. And it's set to default, which is good. Um, and we, we're probably going to want to adjust the size of these. So. Okay, so the circle, the highlight color is this greenish color, so we want to get rid of that. And change the circle color. And then we also want to change our number text color. And increase the size of that so it fills the bubble. It's a hundred pixels there. And then back to our title text. It's an H3. Let's see if we can bump it up a little bit more. There's a size 30, but we want it to be a lighter color. But that's too light, so we gotta go dark, I guess. Or white. Okay, so we'll do white. All right, that looks pretty good for start with, so 
let's add in the other two and see how how that looks I'm going to du duplicate this uh, circular module and then drag and drop it to the second column duplicate this one and then drag the extra to the third column now we can edit the second one the title is going to be gather ideas and this will be step two and then his third step in the process is to get a written plan so we'll edit the third module click in the gear paste in the title changing the number to three um, so let's delete just to make this work out we'll delete the word get and it'll be a written plan and that looks pretty smooth so we could probably do a little things like capitalize all those, but we'll leave that for now. Uh, outdoor living in space, I believe, is going to be a keyword fra phrase for us uh, for his particular work. Uh, the only other thing here would be cool is if this had maybe had a little bit of texture. So we're going to go to backgrounds. So this is on the the section uh, background. We're gonna, we'll look for background image. I've got this Adobe color here. And let's see if we can change that to like a multiply or a screen would be better. So only problem that washed it out a little bit. The overlay is definitely too bright. So sometimes they just don't. Come out the way we want them. Uh, so let's try, let's try gradient instead. See if we can get the colors that we want. I'm going to try this first Adobe color. Then for the other end of the gradient, I'll try the darker color. Looks like they both need to be darker colors. It's not really giving me the effect. That I would like to get. Hmm. The darker color doesn't really match with what, what I want, but it definitely looks a lot more, a lot more bold, which is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to leave that for now. I like the boldness of it. Okay. So then the next section is, you know, kind of an ex explanation of you know what he does are you frustrated with trying to write content for your website learn the web design software and overcome all the technology challenges to get the website launched we understand what it's like to spend hours writing designing and launching a website don't waste your time and money on something that you don't enjoy we can easily walk you through an affordable process of creating a web design with a purpose you will be stress-free and feel like a successful business person. All you have to do to get started is visit shepherdsloft.com and book a free web design with a purpose appointment. So we're going to, need to add a section in between here. We've got a nice little you know, alteration of of image, you know, color and image. Uh, you know color and some with some images texture so for this section 
it's just going to be very simple and straightforward. So looking for something with the same background color as this. So let's check the background color of this one to make sure we're using the, one of our palette colors. Looks like that's just black. Or was it? It was a different color. Yeah, it's kind of an off black, which I kind of like it. It's not quite solid. So I'm going to I'm gonna leave that. It looks like a black. It's just a very slight gray. So actually, let me copy that color to my palette. So we're going to do a regular section here. Uh, we're going to want uh, probably to the previous section was three columns so let's do two columns in this section let's make the background color that almost black dark dark gray looks good um, we're going to need a title section so let's add a row for the title Put it on top we can click and drag the little move tool to move the row to the top So this will be heading two, so that'll step back up. We will change this from dark to light. Okay, so we've been using this divider, so let's make a copy of it and drag it down so we're being consistent. And then I have one additional little sentence I want to add. So sometimes the, <laughs> the little dots get in the way of the other dots. So you just got to drag some spacing out there so that you can access the new module, round new module plus button there. So so we're going to paste this text in. Again, we want this text to be light. And then we're going to go to our text, make sure it's set to the default. It is. Uh, we want to center this text. And then bump up on the size of it because it looks like it's going along. With, that's a lot of words to go all the way across the screen. So we're going to increase that font size. I always like to just do double digits because it's easier. So there's a 22, and then we'll just the line height as well. We can also pull in some, some padding on the sides. And if you hover over the padding area, there's a little chain link. It's almost invisible on here, but I know it's there. And you can click that little chain link, and it'll lock uh, the two sides to be equal. And then that will, can allow you to make further adjustments. Um, so there. So we'll have to double check the mobile later. But this 
keeps uh, the the text. This helps the text wrap sooner so that we don't have so many words in one line. And uh, so I think that's really going to help us out. Okay, so I'm going to pull this extra spacing back up, and then we've got some we got some blurbs here that we want to add. And so let's get those get those started. There are one, two, three, four. There are four, so this will be perfect. It'll be two rows of two. So we'll grab our blurb, and uh, later on we might have some icons uh, to be able to use. Might add those later. For now, I'm just going to put something in as a placeholder, and then see our title is going to go in first. And then and this was really uh, kind of a brainstorm, so we we'll, we may need to do a final edit on this copy here, but uh, we're going to get it. We're just going to put this in here for now. Okay, so I like this way this is coming together. So let's make this light. Okay, so all the text is light there. And then we're gonna go to the heading. And this is a, this is an H4, which we're not, we're not at an H4. This heading up here is a two, so we gotta come back up to a three. Um, and then we wanna see if we can center this. Uh, so we'll go to the title text and hit the center button, there we go. And then we'll go back to the text and see if we can center that as well. I think the fonts could uh, definitely be bumped up on both of these. So we'll do the title text. And then the body text. We can change the font size on that as well. And the line height. Okay, so this is roughed in pretty good. We can always come back in, uh, re reformat it. So I'm gonna duplicate this module and then our goal is to get all our copy in here today. Uh, and then we can kind of fine tune uh, both the looks and the verbiage. So the other service he offers is the outdoor sound systems. So we're gonna put that right next to the lighting. Um, so I probably could make sure that these are in all caps. Okay, and then we're going to duplicate this whole row here. And then, because we've got two more services, he does custom, de custom decks. one settings title is masonry work and he primarily does this close or around the the home next to the decks flagstone A little grammar piece there heartwarming is one word okay great A couple little corrections as we go so I definitely don't want to keep this color of this icon, whatever that is. So let's do the image icon. Um, I think I might just go with the gray. Extend. So if we click on the little triple dot, we get another set of, of options. We can extend the blur styles to this section so in the drop down we choose this section extend and that changes the colors of the other ones all right
So the next section we have is some customer reviews. So I'm going to copy that. Uh, we don't have we don't have pictures for these, but maybe we could come back and add a picture of his work, or see if we can grab a picture from from somewhere later. Um, so this this is a really long testimonial. But let's see if they'll just fit in there as is. And then we're going to duplicate this row. And we've got a couple more here. We're going to put in one more set of testimonials, so we'll duplicate, duplicate this section one more time. And we'll go to the gear, and we'll just select all, and paste in the other testimonial. So we have an odd number, so I'm going to skip this next to last one, and then uh, put in the last one here, just so we have an even number. Okay, now we're definitely not going to use this form on here, so I'm going to delete that. Um, we do have one other section, which is a which is an, a frequently asked questions section. This will add some volume. So we need to insert a new section here. Um, it's going to be rather rather complex uh, because we're going to use the accordion. So I don't know about doing any kind of background textures or anything in that section. So I'm just going to do a regular section. And we're definitely going to do two columns to make it mobile friendly. The accordion is on top. We can click that one. Um, so we may go with a little lighter color here on the background. Just to kind of give us a break. Now these titles are usually set to like a Accordions are, accordions are usually set to like a heading 5 or something. Yes, there it is. So we would definitely want to move these up. Uh, the previous section, which we didn't change this, the title of. Um, so we need to go back and change that. We'll just change that to outdoor. Outdoor living experience. So let's make that. So we go to design, heading text. It's an H2, so we'll change that back to default. And change our, make sure our divider color is set to the lighter color. All right, so we can begin uh, going back down. We're missing a title here, so let's duplicate this one from above. We'll just get the whole row, duplicate this row from the previous section, 
and then we'll drag it into our new sex and section where the FEQs are and then so we're gonna have to change our divider here so we'll go to design line and pick a, the, the darker color or just the uh, just the brown color I think it looks great and then we'll update our title Now we can put in our first frequently asked question. I do want to take away this white background. So we're going to go into the first question there. I think I like the darker color, the darker red better. But this is an open one, so we may want to go to the the lighter brown so that we can make <clears throat> the next one that's closed. So we'll go to design and then toggle. Open toggle could be the brown and the closed toggle will be the dark color. The title text, again, we want that to be, uh, we gotta go up to an H3 to make it accessible to follow our scheme. Um, that's set to default, and then you will want to change it so light, <laughs> light and dark is not available on this module. So we'll have to go to the heading text color, title text color, open title text color, change it to white. I don't think the, uh, the other color is going to be good enough. And then we'll change our title text color for the open and the closed one to white. And then we also have to change our text color our, well, so it, it calls it body text color. So we'll change that to white as well. Bump up the fonts on that. So there's the size 18. And we'll open the line height up a little bit more on that. So that's looking pretty good. There's a little white line underneath. I'm not sure where that's coming from. That's something new. Uh, and then we have the icons, colors. Um, so I think I've got a style that's blocking us to be able to change the color. So we'll have to come back to that little piece there. Okay, so I'm going to save. I'm going to save this, um, and now we can go in and change the the text. So here's our first question: Do you install hot tubs? So these are very short question and answers. We'll go to the second one, get the question. So once we've got our first two filled, we can duplicate the second one to create our third one. So I've got three on the left side so far. Um, I have a total of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got about eleven 
questions, so maybe six on each side. So we will duplicate and then edit, put in each question and answer. So now that we've got, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four. We have five. Do you stain? How long? Deposit. So we need to put in one more. Right, so then we can duplicate this module and put one in the right column. And then we can start over. So we'll go to the gear and we'll edit the first one. So I'm kind of losing track of where I'm at. So I just did light fixtures fade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these other ones at the bottom. So I don't uh, delete one that I just did. So now I'm on the next one, which is deposit, which is on the other side. So we can replace this one. Okay, and that's it. So that's all the content that we have. Uh, and then the last section is going to be, really it's just gonna be a button. Uh, we may keep these social icons, I'm not sure. Just seems like a lot of space. So really we'll wanna just add our button here. And we, it's an outdoor living consultation. All right, and we want that to be centered. Boom. Uh, we do not want it to say get in touch. We want to say something else here. Um, we'll use our tagline we did before. But let's put that, let's put that in the bold. See, we did heading through glass, so this could be a two. I'm just going to hide this whole section at the bottom for now because I'm not sure I want to use it. And then we can s publish.
So we got a couple things to clean up. Uh, we want to go set our styles, and then we can, because we can see those uh, taking taking shape. So we're going to exit the Visual Builder for now. Okay, so we're going to go over to uh, the nav bar at the top here, and we're going to click on Theme Customizer. So we want to really set the the theme controls. Uh, the way we want it so that you know, again and we build new pages that will have the the same fonts be consistent throughout <clears throat> so let's go adjust the header first um, so we've got the header format uh, that's actually not what we want um, <laughs> it this is always kind of tricky so I think we will to go to layout settings okay theme accent color we can set that I don't think we actually use it but just in case it shows up somewhere we can change that typography okay so now we're under general settings typography uh, the body sex body text size um, just go ahead and change that to 18 and I think we're using like a 1.8 on the line height I may have changed some of those locally. Then uh, the header text size is set to 30. We changed a lot of those locally. But I'll change it to 44. Okay, here we are, header font, default theme font. So this is where I want the, the goth, that gothic font. It starts with a C. Car. May change this later, but this is what I want to use for now. Uh, it's really tall, kind of reminds me of the logo. Okay, the body link color. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, a lighter color. I don't think I have any links in here now. We'll just set that to white. Body text color. I'm going to choose a darker. I've got a gray over here. I want to get the probably the darkest color available. I don't think we have any. that we have any text on the background color so heading text color so let's use something bold. most of those are reversed out in white anyway okay all right so we can publish those all right we can exit out of typography background we're going to set it to black just in case there's any areas that might show through or something. Okay. And then we're going to go back out. So I'm looking for the, let's go to the heading section. Primary menu bar, which we're not using at the moment. Well, I don't, we want to find, not using the header elements, it's the fixed. Oh, here it is. I always miss overlook this. This is the drop down here. There's no arrow or anything, but I just completely overlooked that this is changeable. So under header style, uh, we definitely want to go to a centered. Um, I think I even want to go to a centered in line, and then because most all this navigation will go away. Um, in fact, we'd like for this background to be transparent. Uh, high navigation until scroll. We don't want to do that. Uh, so then on the so on the primary menu bar I know that the logo is 150 pixels tall uh, so menu height logo max height so this is kind of tricky because you really want to get 
you really want to get the the logo scaled to exactly to exactly the height that you that you resized it. So looks like we got some extra space here. But that logo is supposed to be 150 pixels tall. So let's set it to 100. Looks like it needs a little adjustment. So if I make it the 150, then it seems to be offset a little bit. We'll leave it there for the moment. But we also have to check our fixed nav. Fix menu height, so we want to make this the same number as the other one. Primary menu background color. Let's publish that. Let's go back to our primary menu bar and change our background color from white to transparent. Now we can see the rest of the picture. The logo is showing up much better. Uh, the text color, we're going to make that white. No transparency. And we're going to change the font size to something much larger. Although we're probably going to remove all of those links for now. All right, so we've got our fonts. We haven't done our buttons yet. We can publish this in X. Oh, we didn't want to exit out. We wanted to go back. All right, so I'll have to go back in. Theme customizer. So we want to style our buttons. So we're going to go to settings, buttons, button style. We've got this one right here. Uh, the text color is is white already. The background color is set to transparent. I don't know, that color might be, I like for it to be bright, I like to, for it to really stand out. Um, so maybe, maybe it will be, so maybe if we can get rid of this border, border width. And increase the radius, let's go to 5 at least. Maybe 10, let's make it 9, okay good. All right, so that stands out. That's nice and clean. Um, we don't use that color a whole lot. We only used it for the little divider. So, so you can see how it's already styled all the buttons on the page because we set them to default. They are all exactly alike, which is what I love. All right, so now we, we have a clear and consistent uh, call to action. So let's go back and check our hover style. So the question is do we want do we want that to change the background color when it's hovered over? It's already this lighter color. We, we can make it go to white and that would make it stand out even more when it's hovered on. Uh, border radius. I think we'd set nine. Okay. But the um, so the text is really not light enough. So let's make the text color black, or that definitely pops out. I like the black a lot. Let's try this other dark gray just to see. Can't really see any difference there. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to our button style and just see how the darker text color looks. That looks really clean. 
So this color is not as bright as the white, but it's different, so it stands out. So I really like that. Um, it's a little subdued on this color with the background. It stands out on that one and the darker color backgrounds. It definitely stands out well. Alright, and then we missed that one right there. We missed that little divider. I'll we'll have to get him. Okay, so we're going to keep it that way. It looks like our, our logo is not shrink, shrinking at the top, so it just kind of looks weird when it stuff scrolls behind it because it's transparent. So we're going to go back to general settings. Let's see. Let's go to our header and navigation, fix navigation, hide image. Okay, so it just completely disappears when you scroll down. All right. And there we go. We've got a great start on the design for the site. Um, a lot of tweaking to do with our, you know, with our color palettes and our text, but you know, we've got a great start from this project. We just finished up the first draft of our wireframe for the homepage uh, on Viking Outdoor. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the next episode.